Hi everybody, so today I'm going to be showing a quick little video here on how to do collision shapes. So basically how to have objects basically bump into each other. So if you see here, if we go ahead and run this little uh, farm scene, which I've been using for basically all my videos, um, we're going to have it load up here and throw it in the center of the screen. And if we try to have our guy move, he basically moves through this fence here, um, he'll move through this tree, um, he'll move through just about anything, just because there's no collision bodies that he has. So how do we make sure that you can't just walk through this, right? So what we're going to want to do is first go to the player itself or the node. And what you're going to want to do is then add a child node to the kinematic body and we're going to use a collision shape here. Now all we have to do is add a shape, which I think the box shape works pretty well for this. And we're going to go ahead and bring it on up a little bit. And then we're going to toy with the sizes a little bit. So here's the transform. And as you can see, this box is way too big for our sprite. So we're going to kind of shrink it down a little bit. Maybe go about 0.7 in the X, maybe about 0.5 in the Y, and 0.2 in the Z, just because he's real thin. Um, maybe it's a little bit off, so we'll increase the Y about 0.8. And that, you know, that, that roughly, he roughly fits inside of that. So that basically means anything inside of this box that interacts with another collision shape is going to basically uh, you know stop moving right so we added this and next we have to add a collision shape to our farm so any sort of object that we want him to bump into so once again we're gonna add a collision shape and we're gonna assign it a box shape and we're gonna bring it on up and out and we're gonna set it a specific size let's just say 10 it's gonna be much bigger than that um, 10 and we'll keep it about one. So we'll just make this about what it needs to be, 25, 45, and we'll just line it back up so it fits within this fence, right? So just shrinking it down a little bit. And this is probably closer to 35. Bringing it over a little bit and shrinking it down one more time just to kind of get it roughly equal to the size of this fence. So as you can see here, um, just trying to make it so that it fits this whole thing um, just you know for the sake of this video so this is it roughly um, so it'll bump in with anything in this rectangle right so you're gonna actually have to assign it to basically every single piece so you'd assign one here for this piece of fence you'd have to sign another collision shape for basically each part and then you have to sign for some for the trees as well for this bit video I'm just gonna show the basics right just just one basic collision so now everything's set up and all we have to do is go back to our main scene and you can see the collision shape right here. You can see the collision shape right there. And we just run it. And once the game runs, we will test this and you'll be able to see that they will bump into each other. So once again, we bring it up and we will go ahead and go forward and boom. All of a sudden we are now bumping into the fence like we're supposed to, right? Um, and this is gonna, basically this is how you do object interactions, right? So this is how you bump into stuff. And with this, you can actually code it so that it can detect when something bumps into it, right? So you basically create a little code that says anytime something enters this collision shape or this area, um, you know, something can happen, right? So if you want to, you know, enter a door or something, you basically have them touch and, you know, the door can open or move or do whatever you need it to do. But as you can see, it's collision shape here. There's not one here, so I walk through that and I have to add a separate one. So it's just a quick little video on how to do collision shapes. Real simple, really easy, and that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.